Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. An absolutely gorgeous morning out here this morning. Nice, beautiful blue sky. A few little thin, wispy clouds up there. 80 degrees right now, expecting a high of, oh, up around 93 again. Kind of a repeat of yesterday. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's take a walk down to the beach. See how things look this morning. I don't see Roy's beach gear up there. I saw his car in the parking lot, so. He must be up at Wiggins Pass, doing his morning routine. Got the barge still pumping the sand out there. I don't know if there were any more sea turtle crawls on the beach last night. I don't have time to make it down the down the whole beach today. There's nest 42 right there. Yesterday I saw we had 45 nests. I don't know if we had any any new ones last night. There's 40 number 42. Come over here and get closer to the water. I just want to walk up to Wiggins Pass. See what that looks like this morning. I haven't been up there since I've been back from vacation. Right, here's all these little wood chips on the beach again. all the stuff that's buried in the bottom of Wiggins Pass. It's like decomposing wood and you know leaves and things that settle to the bottom and they're sucking up the sand with the dredge depositing it up here by area four. So now all this stuff is washing up on the beach. It'll eventually clean itself up but it's just not very pleasant to look at there in the water right now. But the water if I step out, it's a lot better looking than it was yesterday here. You can see the bottom. Except for these little patches where these wood chips are. Beautiful morning though out here. Absolutely gorgeous. Take a little stroll up the beach. See what we find. Oh, start out with a little beautiful little kitten paw shell. Oh, one of Linda's favorites. Look at that. That's a whole kitten's paw. Both halves of the kitten's paw right there. Awesome. Usually you just find half of the shell. There's a whole one. That's a nice size one too. Nice colors, beautiful colors. Little slipper shell down here. Very common, the slippers. You always find slipper shells. So you turn it over, looks like a little slipper, a little shoe. The slipper shells. Ooh, there's a worm, a worm tip. Tip 
the, the worm shell there. Another common shell here at the beach. There's part of a moon shell of a shark eye. It's missing the eye. <laughs> it's got a hole where the eye would be. There's a little piece of finger coral over here. Oh, here's a clam shell. Here's a clam. Not there's a clam washed up on the beach. A whole clam. I don't know what kind of clam that is. It's the whole clam shell right there. all in front of me. Oh, Roy's heading out into the water already. Already taking his first plunge. Part of a old conch shell. Worn out fighting conch. More of these wood chips here. It's nothing that's gonna hurt you. Like I said, it's just ugly to look at. Boy, look at all these little coquina shells down here. These are all coquinas. Tons and tons of coquina shells down here. Very popular for people that make things out of shells for crafts, the little coquina shells, because they come in so many different colors. You can see here's, here's kind of a red one, the red coquina. There's a pink one. They come in yellows, pinks, whites. Oh, see. Kind of light shades of blue. A wide variety of colors, so they're very popular for people who make pictures with these things. The coquina shells. They actually eat them. <laughs> coquina soup. Can't imagine how you get the coquina out of there. They're not very big. There's a mossy arc shell. An old mossy arc. There's Roy out there. I don't know if you can see him. I'll zoom in. Heading out there. Where is he? Hang on, see if we can get a, a focus here. Where is he? You can see his head there. You see his hat sticking up out of the water. Taking his morning plunge. This is probably his first morning plunge. His first plunge of the day. Where'd he go? Yeah, yeah. Get him to wave to us. I don't know. He's looking. Out there with his noodle. <laughs> well, the water's definitely cleaned up a little bit out here today. Not near as bad as it was yesterday. Maybe it moved up the beach or down the beach, you never know. And it has nothing to do with red tide or Lake Okeechobee. It's just dirty water. And it's because of the dredging up in Wiggins Pass. Oh, 
here's one of these little a little scotch bonnet the scotch bonnet shell rats little piece of a crown conch down here that's a little little baby crown conch what's left of a crown conch one of my favorite shells just a piece of one Boy, lots of little slipper shells piled up on the beach Slippers. Oh, Roy's done with his first plunge already. There's a little baby cockle shell down here. A little baby turkey wing too. Cool. There's a little baby turkey wing shell and a little cockle shell. The turkey wings are fun to look at. I hope you know which one the turkey wing is. <laughs> the one on the right there. Like an old lightning whelk, a little baby lightning whelk. Here comes Johnny Weissmuller climbing up out of the water. There's a nice little worm shell. Nice little worm shell there. It's a little snowy egret. Hey, Roy, oh, it's it's Roy. I thought it was Johnny Weissmuller swimming out there. <laughs> oh, Johnny Weissmuller. Gosh, I thought That's Tarzan way was. Back. I thought Tarzan was out there taking a swim. <laughs> you must be an old timer to remember old Johnny <laughs> Weissmuller. Oh yeah. <laughs> he was the first one that ever swam the crawl. That back in those days we called it the Australian crawl. He must have got it from Australia. Must have. Yep. Nobody swam it in this country. Everybody swam the breaststroke, and never nobody knew about right. it at all. And then he beat everybody hands down with a crawl, so after that they all started to swim and swim. Yeah, he was quite the athlete. <laughs> yeah, he was. He had those huge muscles. Didn't yeah. he get to be Tarzan then? Yeah, he was that's Tarzan. Right. Yep, that's Swinging played. on the vine. Yep, him and Jane. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and Cheetah, the monkey. Yeah. <laughs> and boy. Oh, what a time, yeah. <laughs> yep. That's from the old times, that's for sure. Yep, that was... Those were great movies. Yeah. I remember as a kid sitting in the movie theater watching that Tarzan movies. Yeah. That was fun. Oh, you could, get in, you could get in the theater for 10 or 15 cents. It was pretty cheap when remember I was a kid. Remember you sit way down in front what? and eat, yeah. eat, eat popcorn? Yeah. It wasn't quite that cheap when I was a kid, but it was cheap. But they'd have Saturday matinees in Miami. Yeah, yeah. And the Our popcorn was a nickel for a big day. bag. Oh, boy. Yeah. It was fun. The good old days. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. So what's new? Any dolphins this morning down there at the pass? No, I didn't see any. The dredge is still running away. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> no manatees? 
No, it'd be nice to find out uh, what the dredge company is and call them up and ask them what their plans are. When they're gonna, if they're ever gonna finish or if yeah. it's just an ongoing thing. And who's paying the bill? Well, those condos up the river are paying the bill. Oh, you think so? Yeah. <laughs> yep, this is all private. That's what I've been told anyway, it's private. Really? Private funding. How about Not that? taxpayer dollars, but. Well, that's nice. I just don't know how they decided to dump the sand all out here in this one particular spot. Well, they have been going up and down the beach somewhat, but now they're making a huge, big, yeah. uh, you know, peninsula out yeah, there, and they still got just, an island over here. Yeah, but low tide, we've got all these little new sandbars popping yeah, up. Yeah, you go for a swim, you got to maneuver around between all the, the <laughs> islands and, yeah. and stub your feet on rocks, and finally you get out there where you can take a little swim. Well, hopefully once they stop, things will get back to normal here. Wouldn't that be nice? It would be nice. So you're not hanging around today? Well, I got to get up to the bank first off because I'm filing a claim. I got swindled. Oh, that computer deal? Yeah. I, Mike told me about that. Yeah, Fisherman I, Mike, that's terrible. I'm very annoyed with myself for letting them swindle me, but that's how life goes. Well, make, yeah. At the time, it seemed like the right thing to do, but it sure wasn't. Now, don't ever trust those people. <laughs> They really, t they, they prey on older people too. Well, they, uh, they had my computer all blanked out and it yeah. wouldn't work at all. And they said there was a virus and they'd eliminate the virus. And then they'd keep the viruses out for two years for, uh, for 200 bucks and uh, give me all kind of advice how to get the computer going. And, well, then I, I asked him about, you know, well, I didn't know the company, so uh, what about, are you rated in the Biz Better Business uh -huh. Bureau? Oh, yes, they said. And they showed me the page, the Better Business Bureau rating 96 to something percent. Big, well, <laughs> the fact is that was their own Better yeah, they Business made that. Bureau page. <laughs> they made it that was up. all made up, because later on then, nobody would heard about the company, and I got kind of suspicious, so I plugged in Better Business Bureau, they weren't rated at all. Of course. What so, was the name of it, you remember? Swindlers. Uh, so everybody else knows. ITN it or something software, mm. ITNS, something yeah. like that, I don't know. But So I, I uh, called my credit card outfit and wanted to stop payment, but it was a debit card. They said, I'm sorry, we can't stop payment on a debit card. You have to go to the bank and file a claim. Uh, so that's what I'm up to this morning. Yeah, I've had to do that a few times myself. Oh, have least. you really? Oh, yeah. Oh, did, did, did you ever get the claim settled? Did oh, yeah. They you, just, oh. yeah, they just don't pay them and give you your money back. And if the people want to take you to court, don't let them go for it. <laughs> oh, they won't. They're, they're, the bank will just stop the payment and refund you your money. Yeah. Well, but it is a debit card on my bank account, though. Yeah, yeah. they'll put the money back in and take it away from them. Well, wonderful if they can do that. What did, great. um, did they do anything for you, this company? Did they perform well, any they services? they cleared off all the viruses, they, so they oh, said. Oh, so your computer's working? Yeah, yeah, and they, well, they, they're the ones, that's the, inter they're the ones that scammed the thing, and then they said they're preventing scams, and they're the scammers. They're, mm. they're the ones that blanked it out. So yeah, what are they doing in your computer? Well, I don't know. I, I got, now fortunately, uh, uh, Mike, the fisherman, his wife, uh, Mary. Mary, came down and she she got me another company that's, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's only charges, I don't know, 25 bucks a year or something to, uh -huh. to be antivirus. Hmm. I forget the name of it. It's a good outfit. Well, I hope it works out for yeah. you. I got a couple people were didn't get they that ordered books haven't gotten their books i don't know if they went to the wrong well, one addresses came, one came uh, on my email and i looked it up and i did mail her a book so i don't know whether maybe take an extra time but that was a week ago saturday yeah, you I need to you know did All you the confirm book. the address with her well i don't have a phone number but i i looked it up i i think i copied and there was it right. there was another one she ordered two books and only got one she sent 50 bucks on PayPal for two books and only got one book sent to her. So she'll probably be calling. I hope so. Where did you hear about her? On Facebook. Everybody's saying, you know, they got their books or 
whatever. Well, I, I did my best on it, but yeah. I was certainly happy to send That's her That's what I told book. him. I said, just give Roy a call and yeah. tell, give him the information. There was yeah. a whole thing. I mailed out 70 of them or something. And wow. I had to get them all in the envelopes and addresses. And I, you know, I yeah, I, I was cautious, but who knows? I yeah, made mistakes can be made. I don't ever make mistakes. A one might look like a seven or something, you know, the wrong address. You never know. Sometimes, <laughs> if you hand when you you hand wrote all the well, things, I understand right? other people make mistakes, but I never do. <laughs> <laughs> Me either. Uh, I've got a big plaque, you know, on my office wall. You've probably seen it. Uh, there's a big picture of the captain there with his big uniform oh, on. Yeah. <laughs> Rule number one: the captain is always right. Rule number two. Rule number two: if the captain is wrong, see rule number one. <laughs> <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's a good one. All right. <laughs> oh gosh so life is glorious and just got to keep on trucking i had a 70 only two people that's not bad odds you know only two people orders mixed up well it that's could not be bad. drifting in although it i could sent be them stuck first. in the mail there's another thing i did i sent them all first class yeah they should so only they should get there in three so days it should be yeah. faster on first class yeah they should get so there a lot faster i had a lot of postage to pay but if they don't get the books, I'm happy to send them another book. No problem. Let's double check their address. Yeah. Oh, gosh. So what time are you going to the bank? Well, soon, I want to be there open. open at 9, and I want to be there Shortly before after. they open so I can which be the first one. Which bank is it? Chase. Chase. Yeah. yeah. That's a good outfit. Yeah. Good luck with that. We got people were happy to see you on the video yesterday. Oh, really? They missed you for oh, good. two weeks. They got a little glimpse of you here and there with Linda and Scott. And yeah. We saw some pictures of 4th of July. It looks like you had a great little time here on the 4th of July. Oh, that was a blast. Yeah. Nice little party here. Oh, that was a good so time. All the food set up, the picnic yeah. tables. And, and I'm going to have another party on the 29th of this month. It's a Sunday. That's uh, uh, Jenny's birthday. Oh, really? So please join us. I'm going to have some chow up by the oh, pine you going to do tree. that on the beach here? Yeah. What day? A is that a Sunday? That's a Sunday, the 29th. Oh, yeah, that's an easy day to come month. Out. So if you yeah. can join us, that'd be wonderful. That'd be great. We'll so have there a you go, everybody. All, a big birthday cake, and we'll have a lot of good chow on the grill and a whole bit. Well, they won't need a truck like they do for your cake, huh, to haul in all those candles. Yeah, I she don't think have, I need she doesn't quite have as many. many candles. Not quite as many. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that was too bad. The truck that handled all my candles was so huge they couldn't get through the gate. <laughs> Boy, that's just around the corner. It's, it's December. Before you know it, December is going to be upon us. Time flies so fast. That? 94 candles. 94 candles for you, Roy. December <laughs> 20th. That's going to be something. Well, that'll be good. Wait till the 100th. That'll be a big time. Bring a stack of books with you, too, because you probably make a lot of book sales. <laughs> 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 Got to keep selling those books. Well, you know, I got dreams about maybe the next book would be about growing beautiful flowers. <laughs> there you go. Emily Powers is coming down, you know, this yep. all, all the wild flowers, and the, that's her business, and the uh, big flowers. she got 20 acres of greenhouses. Yeah, and that's something. I've seen pictures of it. Yeah. So she's coming down. Uh, in fact, she'll be here the day of Jenny's birthday, and she said she'll try to make it there, landing oh, that fun. morning. That'll be nice. And uh, I want to talk to her about growing flowers and, and maybe record it in some book. And you have a lot of pretty pictures of a lot of flowers. So I uh, hope that that'll be worthwhile. Very good. Well, ask Dave Henry about uh, audio books on Amazon. That's the next thing we need to do. We need to record you reading the book. Because well, there's a lot of great. people, you know, that don't have good eyesight. Yeah, and they'd like to about like it. to hear the book, and then also, yeah, and people when they're driving, that's a big thing now. They listen, or when they, you well, know, audio books are good. I, yeah. I I listened to one at home the other night. I got from the library, and you know, you save your eyes. You kind of relax yeah. and look out the window at the wind blowing in the trees. Yeah. And you hear a nice book, and it works. But this out would right. be great because it'd be the author reading the book. A lot of times, it's just the narrator doing it. Yeah, well, they got th good guys. We'd have you do it this, and that'd be well, an yeah. extra little bonus. Yeah, I'd have to try to read my own writing. That'd be difficult, but I'll give it a try. <laughs> well, it's easy Some to read. Some long words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'd be able to Im 
impromulgate properly, <laughs> but I give it a try. Yeah, well, there was a big word. I was going to say, you have any big words for us today? <laughs> <laughs> or any words? Got any any words? words? Any words of advice for everybody watching this morning? Yeah, my advice is don't don't get scammed by chiselers. <laughs> <laughs> if it sounds too good to be true, yeah. mm -hmm. we know yeah. that saying. Anyway, just be cautious through life. Enjoy the journey, but be cautious because there's always little bumps in the road. Yep. And you got to avoid them if you can. But if you if you hit one, well, don't let it throw you. Just keep on trucking. Yep. Yeah. Repair your tires or whatever and keep on going. <laughs> there you go. Make the best of it. Yeah, sure. Count your blessings. Count your losses. That's right. And always say to yourself, hey, am I lucky? It could have been a lot worse. Exactly. It could yeah. always be worse. could have been a bigger hole in the road. No matter how bad it seems, it could always be worse. That's yeah, a fact. So you just always count your blessing no matter what happens. Amen to that. <laughs> <laughs> Although you hope things don't happen bad, exactly. that's for sure. But and a lot of prayer helps. It's amazing how prayer helps. Yeah. It really does, it does for some mirac miraculous reason, prayer does really work. So I'm pleased yeah. about that. Well, that's in your book. Well, right? I try to do a lot of praying myself. When yeah. I get up to the end there at sunrise, I talk to God, and it's a, it's a wonderful spiritual time. Amen. He's here with us all the time. So oh, that's a that's a real blessing, I'll tell you. <laughs> so I think we're I'm, all blessed. I'm gonna start getting out here earlier now in the mornings. Boy, the sun's getting up, coming up early now. Yeah, it is. What time are you coming out? Oh, I get here before uh, before six. I get up about uh, four thirty, four to five, and I'm here about an hour later. So it's quarter to six or so. Boy, the sun doesn't come up till about quarter to seven. Yeah. Well, I get up to the end, and I, there's glow in the sky before sunrise, and it's a pretty time. I think I'm going to start doing these, start at about 6.30, come out here at 6.30 and spend an hour or yeah, so out here. Yeah, it's a pretty time at 6.30. Yeah. That's when the color starts in the sky. How are how are the bugs? Well, that's a big problem. Yeah. Got the no see -ems. Are they out now? Yeah, they're out big. Mm. Oh, well. That's what you that's, got your can of raid for. Yeah, well, yeah. But uh, this morning I had to stand in the water while I was waiting for sunrise because they were biting that my bad. legs so bad. Oh boy! But what the heck? It was no breeze then, huh? Yeah, there isn't any breeze. It's a little bit seemed to be perking up, but pretty still this morning. All right. Well, it's good chatting with you this morning. Well, it's always good look at the bank. You and all, all yep. the wonderful Facebook friends. Bless you all, yep. everybody. Bless you all. Good luck at the bank this morning. Yeah, they're, they're good they bankers, that. so that Hope, should be Don't right forget up. your noodle and your glasses there. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget your noodle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Roy. Okay. Have a wonderful day, always and God bless. You, Rob. Yep, always a pleasure. Yeah, bless you, and have a good day. Thanks. Take care. Tally ho. Tally ho. <laughs> Yeah, all Peter Zane. All oh, Peter Zane. Oh, here. you know, they're going to be here tomorrow. In German, she showed me how to inscribe in German. No, Andrea her, and her the Pfeifers. The Pfeifers yeah. are going to get here tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. Yep, they arrived tomorrow, the Pfeifers. Yeah, so, so I, I got to yep. the book. She, she showed me how to do it in German. The German oh, word. great. And the whole bit. All right. Well, good luck. See you later. All, All right. Bye-bye. Our good friend, Roy. 93 years old. Now, walk up the beach a little further here. See if we find anything interesting. Oh, there goes a little snowy egret. Oh, another one flew in and chased him off. Did you see that? This big bully. That's a big one there. Squawking at me. He chased the little one off. That was a nice little chat with Roy this morning. He always brightens up our mornings. If you ever come down to the beach, be sure to stop and say hi to Roy. Tell him you saw him on Facebook. He always gets a big kick out of that. Oh, there's a 
few little shells along the shoreline here, the water line, but nothing's jumping out at me. Usual, our usual suspects. I'm seeing lots and lots of slipper shells. I haven't seen any little moon shells. It's a little slipper shell there. I haven't seen any whole moon shells or whelk shells. I've seen broken ones. See, we've lost a lot of beach here. That was a tropical depression, Alberto, that passed by us out in the Gulf, just washed all our beach away up here. Sad, sad, sad. sat down there oh thought maybe it was a tulip shell it was just a broken a broken slipper shell really quiet out here this morning what a difference between summer and winter here in Southwest Florida. Yeah, so I'm planning on starting these beach walks a little earlier in the morning here. I gotta start managing my time a little better. So I'm going to try to start around 6.30 in the morning, try to spend an hour out here from 6.30 to 7.30. Coming out at that time, we should be able to catch the beautiful colors of sunrise, weather permitting, of course. It is summertime, so we do get, sometimes we start getting early morning showers. As long as it's not raining at the beach, those rainstorms, the clouds can provide us with some really interesting colors at times. Look at all the beach we've lost here. Sad, sad, sad. You can see how high it used to be. That's almost six feet of erosion right over there. Beautiful morning though, look at that water. Look how calm it is. white ibis they're just kind of making their way up the beach with me this morning see them over here on the left let's see we got a low a weak connection again good old sprint okay we're back here for some reason up here at the north end of the park the signal fades in and out two white ibis Oops, two white ibis all right did i say do this now there's one white ibis up there. Oh, he just took off. The 
water's not too bad up here. A little cloudy, but much nicer than it was yesterday. I thought we might run into Fisherman Mike again this morning. This is where he was yesterday, just up ahead here. I don't know if you saw on Facebook yesterday that Scott and Linda, they were selling all their shells that they collected here on the beach. They had a garage sale and they, in the garage sale, they had their shells, they had some great shells for sale. I'm sure they still have some left. Scott and Linda Magyar. Not seeing a whole lot of shells here. There's a there's some some shells here in the water, but it's just all little bits and pieces, broken shells. All right down here along the ridge line. Absolutely gorgeous though. Look at that sky. Wow. Beautiful blue sky all around us. hear the dredge up ahead of me here in Wiggins Pass. I don't know if you can hear the hum of the dredge there. I'm just gonna go up, take a peek around Wiggins Pass. See what that looks like. See how much that has changed since I went on vacation. It's a little snowy egret walking up under the beach ahead of me here. Look at all the erosion though, that is just incredible. We have lost a ton of beach here. Not much beach left, look at that. Sad. Got something? Uh, I've smelled stuff so far. Uh, I just caught some live fish. 
<laughs> well, here we are up at Wiggins Pass. I believe there's one sea turtle nest up here. One sea turtle crawled up here at the end of the beach while I was on vacation. Let's see if we can find that nest. From what I saw in the pictures, it looked like it was way up in the dune area. Not as many shells up here as there were two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. I'm looking for that nest. I don't know where that was. I think it was around the corner. I don't know if we had any crawls last night. Obviously, I didn't walk the whole beach this morning. You know, there's a piece of worm rock over here. Little piece of worm rock. It's got some neat little tubes in it. The worm rock. It's always fun to look at. The worm rock. There's a couple fishermen out there at the point. You know, the water doesn't look bad up here. With all the dredging going on, and that's because they're just kind of vacuuming up the sand from over there. You can see the dredge over there. They kind of, it's a big pipe. You see those buoys out there, the pipes just underneath them. And that runs all the way, that pipe runs all the way up to that barge where Roy is at, up in area four and pumps the sand out. So here the water looks really nice and it's gorgeous up here. But down by Roy, it's all muddy and dirty looking. That's Barefoot Beach across the pass. Barefoot Beach Preserve, beautiful park maintained by Collier County Parks and Rec. That's a really a good walk, a long walk to get out to that point there. The parking lot's so about a third of a mile that away up the beach. So it's a nice little walk out to the end of this barefoot beach here. But well worth it. And although it's just across the pass from here, if you were to drive, you have to drive all the way around, back up Vanderbilt Beach Road. It's a, you know, it's a good 15 minute drive to get back to the parking lot over there. And then probably another 15 minute walk at least to get out to the end of the beach, depending on how fast you walk. Be a lot easier if you could just swim over there, but that's against the law. And there's the barge with the dredge. Gorgeous out here though this morning. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful colors in the water here.
North Naples. Wiggins Pass is the mouth of the Coquihatchee River. Look at those colors, though. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. There goes an osprey flying overhead. I'm gonna snap off a quick photo, bear with me. Beautiful boat coming in the pass. Happy Monday. Off to a great start this week. Isn't that beautiful? Let's go see if we can find that sea turtle nest. If it was a successful crawl. I don't know if it was a successful crawl. I don't think it was because I do not see a cage here. But while I was on vacation, the turtle crawled all the way up into these sea oats, which would be an ideal place for her to nest, to lay her eggs. I don't see it. Must have been a false crawl. Aren't those sea oats beautiful? Just sitting here blowing in the breeze. Absolutely gorgeous. play a very vital role in our ecology here. That's what holds our, holds these dunes together, the roots of all these sea oats. They are protected by law. Don't let your kids play in these, don't pick them. Stay out of the sea oats. Find a little pathway back into that hole back there without stepping on any of them. I love, I love taking pictures of the sea oats. The beautiful blue sky and water behind them. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. When you look at them up close, you see why they call them sea oats. They look just like oats. Isn't that beautiful? Sea oats. Well, time to start heading back. We had a nice little chat with Roy this morning. That was fun. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television some time to check out all the videos and photos. I'm sure you're going to find something you like. When you do, make sure you hit the share button. Help spread the word. It's always fun meeting people out here at the beach that have seen me on Facebook. People have seen Roy and I on Facebook. 
that happens quite often. People show up from all around the world at the beach and say, hey, I saw you guys on Facebook. <laughs> that is pretty exciting when that happens. Quite the thrill. It's amazing how small the world is with the internet now. It's so easy to get in touch with people. Remember in the old days making a long distance telephone call, what a big deal that was. The whole family would sit around the telephone. <laughs> Calling your relatives that live down in Florida <laughs> or vice versa. Calling your relatives up north. That was quite the deal. No good luck. Thanks. In the old days of landline telephones and long distance calls, I don't know about you, but I remember when we'd travel out of state or on long trips, we'd always, we had like signals. We'd call and let the phone ring twice to let people know we got there okay. Nobody wanted to pick up the phone on a long distance call because it was so expensive. My, how things have changed. Now you're watching a live video from my telephone. Just amazing. You think about a, a person like Roy, it's gonna be 94 this December. Think of all the changes that man has seen in 94 years. Gosh, technology. It's just grown in leaps and bounds in the last 94 years. It's easy to understand why Roy gets a little confused when he's on his computer. There's a lot to take in. The water looks really nice here. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Not bad at all, right here. It's hot. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Somebody was calling in here. Beautiful colors. If that barge wasn't sitting out there, it would be just absolutely stunning. Gonna snap off a quick photo, bear with me. All right, I'm back. I haven't seen any dolphins. Boy, it's really calm out there. It'd be easy to spot them this morning. We saw three dolphins yesterday morning. That was fun. Gorgeous here. Make sure you sign up for the notifications when I go live so you're not guessing when I'm live. You'll hear your phone ding when I go live. I don't really have a schedule for these beach walks. I just do them when I can. But I am gonna try to start earlier in the mornings here. Look back up the beach. Pretty nice up there, huh? Looking up there. At what beach we have, what's left of the beach. Kind of sad. Very, very peaceful here this morning. I go 
There's a pelican flying by. Well, no big shells this morning. You win some, you lose some. It's probably gonna be a little while before our beach gets back to normal here. Hopefully we won't have any big storms this hurricane season. I don't know how many more big storms our beach can take. You can see it's been battered pretty hard. It's always nice stepping out into the water and looking up the beach or down the beach. It gives you a little different perspective. I'll take another picture, hang tight. Getting close to where we started this morning on the boardwalk in Area 4. Pretty much in the middle of parking lot 4. Another little snowy egret. Beautiful little birds. Did you get something? No. Didn't get anything. little yellow feet there you get a good look at them when they come up out of the water let me go around you <laughs> you want to walk along with me okay a little snowy egret Take a picture of him real quick. See you later, buddy. Good luck on the fishing this morning. Oh, 
Lots of interesting shorebirds here at the beach at Del Norwegians. Got our white ibis, our brown pelicans, several types of egrets, herons, sandpipers, skimmers, terns, seagulls, ospreys. Every once in a while, they will spot a bald eagle here in the park. That's a real treat to see a bald eagle. Well, here we are back at our starting point. We started over there on the boardwalk. I'm gonna wrap it up here. I wanna thank everybody for watching. I hope this little beach walk helped you get your Monday, your work week off to a little better start. And always, as always, if anybody wants to make a little contribution, that's always appreciated. It helps pay the phone bill. And keep gas in the car, keep the insurance paid. I appreciate those of you that have sent a little something. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that sky. Again, be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. We're, our little community here is growing, slow but sure. Lots of great people, lots of great friendships have been made through these beach walks. Pretty amazing. Well, have a fantastic day. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.